What's going on YouTube? Chris here. I want to bring you all an update today of Bitcoin. Right now we're sitting at $17,850. We're up 0.97%. And what I wanted to go through was some of the overhead resistance areas we're going to try for next and also some of the support areas which I think are going to be a little bit more important than even those overhead resistance areas. Bitcoin is made out of this symmetrical triangle over a 50% move. So truly guys, we're still waiting for Bitcoin to take that big deep breath, that retracement that I believe it needs to get through $20,000. The reason I say that still, even where we're at right now, how overextended we are, the RSI is up around 80. And what you're also seeing is a lot of profit taking with this longer wick on top here. We're gonna have to wait to see where the daily candle closes. But right now it's a little bit thicker of a body, but that would be another doji candle. And we always wanna take caution and warnings after we've had these big pushes to the upside. So it's more so of a warning sign just for shorter term traders. Now, if you're a longer term investor, we're still up above our 20 EMA, our 50, our 100, our 200. That's where you just want to remain in your positions and let the market do its thing. But in my opinion, Bitcoin still needs that big deep breath so that we can have those blue sky breakouts over top of $20,000 and really run hard. I wouldn't want to see us challenge $20,000 when the RSI is up in the 90s, if that makes sense. Because typically, guys, in these markets, they always have to breathe. I know everybody wants stuff to go straight up, you know, thousands of percent, but that's not going to be a healthy market. And then we're going to have one of those big bursts like we had before to where it's going to take three market, three years basically to shake out a bear market because we went straight up. And, and the price rose so fast, so quick, and then we just had that massive sell-off. And there we went, you know, in the two and a half, three-year-long altcoin bear market. So it's important to look at these areas and pay attention to them. The first retracement, deeper retracement area I would look at is going to be that 20 EMA, and that's going to be at $15,543, and that's going to be in purple down here. The next spot would be that 50. So if we really pull back deep, take a real big deep breath, and then try to explode back up through and go up and set some higher highs, I look also to that 50 moving average. You can see all those are pointing up. We're actually fanning out right now, which is also a good thing. It's a sign of strength. But we want to be aware up here, as you can see, price was rising, but the RSI was not making higher highs. So we always want to pay attention to that type of stuff. If we get into a few more indicators, I want to take a look at the MACD. MACD is still looking good. Histogram to the upside. Everything looking all right there. We're just going to work our way through these. The Bollinger Bands. We are out of the top of the Bollinger Band, so that's another sign as well. We want to be cautious of that. Whenever you get to, to the top of these or outside of these, a lot of times you can get that 10% dump back to the downside, and a lot of times it'll only happen in a day or two, and then we'll be back to the races again. It can be those big, quick, deep breaths. The middle band there is going to be around $15,385. Next one I want to take a look at is going to be our Momentum. Momentum, we're actually losing a little bit of steam right here, but we still are at 2,316. We're just losing a little bit right in that area there. That's what I'm saying. It's just getting that point where we do need some type of retracement or some type of cooling down. And maybe from that point, then, guys, people can take their profits and start putting them into the altcoins, and we can start seeing some altcoin movement as well, some bigger swells of volume, because when volume comes into the altcoins, they really move up fast in terms of percentage gains, and that's what we're looking at is the percentage gains. So as we're looking through this now from the one day we're going to go into the 12 hour and we're just going to work down through the time frames and also guys if you get some from this video don't forget to like subscribe hit that notification bell share with your friends so still up above this was we did many videos about this on the 12 hour time frame still up above this 20 ema so looking decent there up above the 20 the 50 the 100 the 200 if we go out to the eight hour Still up above the 20, and we're just going to see when we start breaking down through that. So we'll go to the four hour time frame, still up above it, losing a little bit of strength there. Then we'll go to the one hour. And this is how I like to do it basically, guys, and just work my way through. You can go from the one hour back or the one day in, however you want to do it. I like to do both ways. But what I'm watching here on the one hour time frame is this 200 moving average. We want to stay up above that because we've stayed up above it basically this entire move. So I do believe that would be significant. Right now we're fighting with that 20 EMA. So on the one hour, we could potentially lose that. Then we're going to look to be able to stay up above this 50 moving average, just work our way down here. So next support area is going to be at $17,139. And then overhead resistance, we're going to be looking at $18,497. If we get into the technicals for Bitcoin, but this has just been such an impressive move overall. 
So we have a 3 cell 6 neutral 19 by oscillators 3 cell 5 neutral and a 3 by and then our moving average is still looking good because we're up above all of them. What you can see here is 80 on the RSI that is a cell commodity index a cell Williams percentage range a cell and then it was showing awesome oscillator is a buy MACD is a buy and then because we're still up at that 2322 still have that strong momentum at a buy there and then all the moving averages were looking decent. So this is just an area we're going to have to pay attention to guys really watch this 200 moving average on the one hour time frame see if we can stay up above that god bless you all take care